Hey y'all, um, my name is Sade. So um, I am um, originally from Texas, but live in Washington, DC, but currently in Texas quarantining with my family. So um, I'll guess the story that I'm gonna share kind of is like what I've been kind of going through right now. Uh, a little context behind my family. So I'm an only child and in, I was, my dad is a Nigerian immigrant and my mother was born here in uh, the States and she's black American. So uh, she passed away when I was two. It was me, it was just me and my dad for six years. And then my dad remarried when I was around 10. And um, my mom, I call her my mom, I don't call her my stepmom or anything like that. But my mama, she's white. And so I've kind of had this very interesting dynamic of like a Nigerian culture and then a white family. So it's like, it's very two different extremes. And then coming to like raise me up, I'm kind of just like this literally African American black girl raised in the States. And so I like, I've been coming home when I've been home and just been like talking to my family, trying to actually bring up conversations about race, given like the context and the climate that we're in. And it's very interesting because I feel like some of the stuff that I would expect my father to think in terms of just like the context of what we're in, we're kind of like always on the opposite pages a little bit. And so it's very interesting. And it kind of, um, it's been challenging me to kind of just see things from his perspective and also realize that like, there's a huge generational gaps that um, exists between me and my father. And I sometimes have to realize that like these kinds of conversations are not like just a predicament of my relationship with me and my father, but it's also a predicament about like what I will be experiencing later in my life. Um, give me one second. All right. I Dad was just yelling at me to come down for dinner, so I had to let him know that I'm not coming down. So anyways, um, but what I was saying is I think like I was, I experienced generational gaps between me and my dad and like realizing and learning that and how to communicate with him just to be able to express myself about the issues that I see and how I perceive it and like my perspective and also try to understand his perspective as like an older um, generation and also a person who has totally different cultures and views and mindsets in coming to live in the States. So that's kind of what we block heads, uh, bump heads. And then kind of seeing that my mom's perspective, who's a white woman and also just like experiences life, has experienced life in totally different ways than I have. And kind of seeing her perspective and also like realizing that I shouldn't underestimate her knowledge about the issues that um, me as her black daughter are experiencing. And so it's just been really, I think, a blessing being home just because um, I'm kind of seeing how my bringing, being raised by a Nigerian immigrant and then a white woman has basically kind of given me this like totally different, unique perspective and the way that I try and have conversations with my friends or people that I will meet. Like I'm just anticipating like, growth from here not just for myself but also people i interact with so i'm just also like really excited about conversations to continuously put myself in situations where i have conversations with people that may not necessarily be comfortable but i know that will be necessary for more community growth such as like this forum that um has been put on gen so generously by steve um so it's really exciting that like i am somewhat being trained right now I guess, by speaking with my dad and having debates, for a lack of better words, sometimes with him. And then just hanging out with my mom and going on for walks with her and just talking about stuff. It's just kind of building like a, a uniqueness in myself that I'm learning and really excited to um, develop more and moving forward in the world. Ashade, would you like to share? Yeah, I um one of the things uh take away from this is that self self reflection is a very important key um in terms of moving forward in terms of like where you want to go, uh where you desire and also just keeping an open mind about um it's okay that if you have no idea where your life experience is going to take you tomorrow in a month or a year, but just be very cognizant about the experiences that I've been through and also just remember that they are unique to me and that my life experiences will 
not necessarily break me, but they can also, you know, take me in a direction that is something I would have never imagined, but also just making sure that I stay true to myself and remember that everything that has, everything that has ever happened to me, everything that will happen to me is going to be unique to me. And so I should always be proud of that and um, stay true to myself for that instance. So it's been great hearing about all these different stories that are unique to everybody else and just encourage you guys to remember that what has happened to you and what will happen to you is unique to you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.